Good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. So this morning I got up super early because it was it was like 5.30, couldn't sleep, and we're locking the magazine right now. Today's the last day, so I'm reading stories in the kitchen. It's quiet. Ace is still sleeping. All the kids were still sleeping. Michael was out of town. It's just so nice to just sit by myself in quiet. Um, and after I read a couple of stories for the magazine, I started to read some messages from people. And one struck me. A woman wrote me a message that was so long, I thought, I can't imagine what she could write that would be this long. I started to read it, and she essentially is laying out for me that she has... Uh, what's the word? Oh God, it's early, too early for me. Suspicions that her husband is having an affair. And she proceeds to list out what these suspicions are. So I'm reading them. His habits, phone habits have changed. He start, he's starting to take calls outside the house, like walk outside to take the calls. He put a lock on his phone and told me it's because he doesn't want the kids getting into his business emails. And he's never, he's been in the same business for 12 years and he's never acted this way. Um, suddenly he's having to travel once a week to go to see clients. This is new, all new. And he says it's because he's growing his business. And, She's giving all of these things to like, like, I'm not kidding, lists like 10 things, 10 suspicions. And she says at the end, I'm sure I'm just overreacting. I just wanted to hear what you thought. So <clears throat> we do this to ourselves all the time in so many different situations. Now, I'm not saying her husband is having an affair. I'm saying, though, typically, not always, when it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, every once in a while it's a moose, but 98% of the time it's a duck. More importantly, whether he is or he isn't, why do we always doubt our intuition? Our intuition is a tool given to us as a gift by our creator to protect us, and we ignore it. It is essentially a built-in siren, a built-in warning sign, an alert. If you were in your house and you heard the fire alarm go off, would you ignore it? Would you text your friends and go, so... I'm at the house, the kids are here, I smell smoke, it's hot, the fire alarm's going off. What do you think? You think maybe there's like a fire or should I just keep watching Empire or what do you think I should do? No, you'd grab everybody and you'd get out of the house. Why when it comes to our relationships and our friendships and our children and our parents and our bodies, we feel things, but we ignore them. We are in a parking garage. The elevator opens. There's one shady looking guy in the elevator. Every single thing about it feels wrong. The hair stands up on the back of our necks. We feel sick. We feel nervous. But we get on the elevator anyway because we don't want to presume. We don't want to make anyone feel bad. So we put ourselves in danger. Is the guy dangerous? The likelihood that he's dangerous? No. But every time we ignore our intuition and try to convince ourselves we're just being crazy or oversensitive or, you know, whatever, we, we are diminishing the ability of our intuition to function properly. And here is the truth. Our intuition is designed to lead us to truth, not to lies. Remember that. Your intuition is designed to lead you to truth, not to lies. It's not to say that we are never wrong. We are conditioned by our society. So it does affect 
Uh, sometimes, for example, we watch the media over and over and over again. If they tell us that a green guy with purple hair just killed somebody and we go to an elevator, the elevator door opens and there's a green guy with purple hair, we're going to be conditioned to go, whoa, this guy's probably a killer. There's a chance he's not the same green guy with purple hair, but our intuition is going to go ding, 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 ding. But our intuition is designed to lead us right to our truth. That is what it is there for. Yet we doubt it. All the signs can be there. This friendship isn't going to work. This person, I feel something is off about this. I feel like she's tough. Anytime, it, the moment you start questioning whether you can trust somebody or not, you already know the answer. That is the truth. But you will push your intuition. You will push what you know away because you either don't want to be left you don't want to have to take action in your own life. And that is a huge inhibitor for us, myself included. We don't want to have to take action. Following our intuition and dealing with our truth means we actually have to get up and act. We have to make change. We have to acknowledge something is happening in our lives and then react. And a lot of times we just don't want it. Like Jack Nicholson said, you can't handle the truth. And many of us can't. So we doubt our intuition. We question it. We convince ourselves that we're probably just being paranoid. Because the truth is this. It's easier to write me an email and list out the 4,000 reasons someone might think their husband's having an affair than simply go to their husband and say, I think you're having an affair and here's why. Because once she confronts him about it, she has to act. He's either going to deny it and make her think she's insane or he's going to admit it and then she has to deal with the fallout. And many of us just don't want to have to go through those motions, myself included. Not for that specific example, but for many other issues. I have had... So many situations where I have stayed in friendships and relationships and work situations way past the expiration date because the truth is I just don't want to have to go through, I don't want to have to act. So I ignore my intuition. I tell myself, oh, I can make it work. I can stay longer. I can do this. No, I'm, making, I'm crazy. It's not what it is always because your intuition is designed to lead you to your truth. If your intuition is telling you something right now, you can ignore it. You can dumb it down. You can numb it. But it doesn't make it any less true or accurate. Remember, your intuition is your body's perfect warning system. It's up to you to listen to it. It's up to all of us to listen to it. Uh, it is Friday. Um, busy day, but awesome day. I hate that it's raining. Uh, here in Alabama. I hope that you all have a wonderful day. I love you so much. Have a great day.